Hello, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kay Ingram, and this is your News for Now update. Now, we start with a developing story in Roselle, New Jersey. That's where a mother and her nine year old daughter were killed. Investigators are on the scene right now on West 7th Street, and law enforcement sources confirmed to us that someone was arrested in Maryland for driving a car that belonged to the mother, but so far not arrested for, for her murder. The family tells us her name is Keisha Morrison, and her daughter's name is Kelsey. They say the suspect killed their loved ones with an axe that was found in the garage, but police are not confirming that. We're still working to get more details for you, and we'll have much more coming up on News 4 at 4. New York State may soon have a task force dedicated to investigating missing women and girls of color. Lawmakers in Albany are considering the bill that would establish a task force on missing women and girls who are black, indigenous, and people of color. The task force would also develop policy changes, among them to address the lack of care and concern among government agencies for missing and murdered women of color. The bill unanimously passed the state Senate and is now in the Assembly. Mayor Adams has a plan to offer financial incentives to landlords who upgrade rent-stabilized apartments. The mayor says he wants to pay landlords $25,000 to renovate vacant units if they agree to rent to New Yorkers with rental assistant vouchers. Now, the move is part of a $10 million pilot program called Unlocking Doors to help people affected by the growing affordability crisis here in the city. The mayor says the money could repair 400 rent-stabilized units. All right, if you walk by the windows at the Bloomingdale's flagship store here in Manhattan, you'll now see these new windows on display. It's the Met Karl Lagerfeld collection. The windows were unveiled yesterday to honor the late fashion icon. In honor of Karl is also the theme for the Met Gala, which is less than two weeks away. Bloomingdale's has collaborated with Karl Lagerfeld, the brand, and the Met Gala to debut a capsule collection, which features the designer's signature styles and silhouettes. In New Jersey, you won't have much longer to see these beautiful tulips. Holland Ridge Farms in Cream Ridge has to close early because the warm weather there caused the flowers to bloom earlier than usual. Now, Wednesday will be the last of the season for the very popular tulip farm. It allows people to pick their own flowers from their fields of 8 million stems, one of the largest fields in the country. All right, still more ahead. The 70s are returning for us. Storm Team 4 has your forecast in 60 seconds. At 12.56, let's go to Yankee Stadium in the Bronx where we're going to see afternoon baseball. Hour by hour, going to be a nice day for that. Temperatures climbing into the upper 60s. We're at 60 degrees right now with a light wind out of the west. You can see, other than high clouds, we really have got nothing going on. It is cooler, though, to the north and west where it's 50 degrees, getting down to about 43 tonight, holding on to the 50s and 40s in and around the metropolitan area. Warm and sunny tomorrow. Up we go to 72 degrees. But northern New Jersey, you may get closer to 80 this weekend. Uh, we're going to put a cap on the temperatures getting to about 72 Saturday. The day is going to be dry. The night could have some showers Sunday morning. A little bit of rain only to 69 degrees and the 10 day forecast into next week. We start out on the cool side and then warm up end of the week sees another chance of rain. Okay, that's a quick look at the forecast. Got it. Thanks, Dave. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for joining me. I'm Kay Ingram.